Question 5. Solve linear double inequality. So here we have inequality as minus 10 less than or equal to 2x minus 5, which is less than 25 minus 5x. Now to solve these kinds of inequalities, we need to solve both separately. Because you cannot really isolate x in this case, right? So let's do both inequalities simultaneously. So we will do 1 here. Let's say, let's write down 1 is minus 10 is less than or equal to 2x minus 5. And on the other side, I will write down the other inequality, which is 2x minus 5 is less than 25 minus 5x. Okay, and let's solve them. And after solving, we will take a common solution. Okay, so when we solve this, we can bring 5 or we can add 5 both sides. In doing so, we get minus 10 plus 5 is less than or equal to 2x. So minus 10 plus 5 is minus 5. And we can divide by 2 is less than or equal to x. That means x is greater than or equal to minus 5 over 2. So on a number line, let's say this is a number line, we get a solution on this side, which is that x is greater than minus 5 by 2. Let's say this is 0, right? And minus 5 by 2 is here, let us say, right? So the solution here is like this, where this is minus 5 over 2. Correct. Now, on the other side, let's solve this. So now we have got x here. So let's bring x together and the constants on the other side. So we have 2x plus 5x is less than 25 plus 5. So that is 7x is less than 30. Or x is less than 30 over 7. So that is the solution on this side. So which gives us the result as, so let's say 30 over s is kind of like, let's say it is here, right? Now this one, that one was included, I missed that part. Now, so this is a line like this. Now the first one is x is greater than or equal to, I should have literally filled it up because this point is included, okay? Now, so these are two separate solutions. We have to look for the common point. So this is all the way till minus infinity and this is all the way till plus infinity. The common portion is between the two, right? This is our solution, correct? Which I can write as we have to include minus 5 over 2, but we should not include 30 over 7. But everything in between is a solution. So that is what the solution is, right? That is what x equals to, correct?